What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zaria Shante. Period. Now, today I'm about to be doing a story time video. I got some noodles right here. Child College Chronicles, okay? But, anyways. I'm about to be doing a story time on the first time I ever got cheated on. <laughs> and now I know for a fact it's not the first time I ever got cheated on. But it's like the first time, you feel me, I ever got cheated, cheated on. Y'all know what I mean. Like, he wasn't just talking to somebody. Like, he was actually, he actually, you feel me, did the do with somebody. I'm like, oh, mind you, I ain't even really like dude, for real, for real. If you watch this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Because, ooh, we all playing in your face. I'm not going to lie. That's probably why I have. Okay, so basically, let's see. Where did this start? So, this was in, ooh, we, I hope certain people don't watch this video. This was in 2020. I think beginning of 2020, um, <laughs> I was messing with this one dude. We're going to call him, fuck, we're going to call him Noodle, okay? So, basically, I was in this pre-performing, I mean, pre-professional acting program, right? Oh, Lord. Y'all better know who it is. If you know, you know. It, is, it don't even matter. This was so long ago. Was that 2020? I think so. I don't know. Whatever. Whenever the fuck it was. I was in this acting program and this acting company and um, they had done auditions, I guess, like the week before and I wasn't there at the auditions because I was already in the, in the program, whatever. I was already in the company so I didn't have to go to auditions. So I came back and I was like, oh, who who the new people that's gonna be for me in it? And they was like telling me and they was telling me who the new people was. And they was like, oh, there's this one guy, he kind of cute or whatever. It was like, he black and Mexican. And it was like, um, he around your age. I think I was like 17 at the time. I don't know That don't make no sense. If this is 2022, wait, yeah, that makes sense. I was 17 at the time, yeah. Cause I'm gonna be 20. Cause I was turning 18 that year. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I was 17 at the time. So yeah, he was 17. And um they was like, Yeah, I think he's like 17. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna get at him. Like, duh. you feel me? I'm gonna plot on him. Like, you feel me? I'm just gonna, you feel me? Not even knowing what he looked like, not knowing his personality, you know, nothing. I'm just like, oh, okay, like, you feel me? Somebody coming in. They say he's black and Mexican. They say he kind of cute. I'm like, okay, he's gonna be mine. Well, yeah, yeah, you feel me? So I was already plotting on him before he came. So then he came. I was like, okay, he's kind of cute. He cool or whatever. So then we started talking. And you feel me? Just chopping it up as friends. And then, sorry, y'all, I gotta eat. Mm. So we started chopping it up as friends, and um, it was cool. The vibe was there, whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm trying to remember. This was like two years ago. That's crazy. More than two years ago, almost three years ago, actually, because it was in the beginning of 2020. It's the end of 2022. But um, so yeah, we was chopping it up, and he was cool. You feel me? He was cute. He wasn't like all of that, but he was cool. He was cute. So we had a little. A little, um, like you could tell he wasn't no, you feel me, no street nigga, no, nothing like that. But he from Oakland, you feel me? He's from, you feel me? He had a little, um, a little um, to him, a little, um, I guess. Like, like, oh, I want to be rude. Like, it's a Sagittarius in me. I promise, if I see rude, it's a Sagittarius in me. It's not me for real. It's the Sagittarius, not me. Okay. I don't even remember how we started talking for real, for real. I just remember we were kind of be flirting a little bit in rehearsals. And you feel me? I switched my line like I told you. Like, I was plotting on him from the beginning. So then I remember this one day. I think it was, like, the first day I probably met him. Like, I took his hat and I put it on my head. And I was there putting videos of me. And stuff. So I'm like, oh, I'm mad cute. Blah, blah, blah. And she like, oh, yeah. My hat. Blah. Like, you know, just fucking play for and shit like that. And then, um, like, a group of us after rehearsals would go to the park and go smoke and stuff like that. So we invited him to come with us. So he came with us. And you feel me? It was just, like, a little vibe. Everybody was talking and... Everybody was talking and just chopping it up or whatever. And then, so basically, we start talking. Um, honestly, I didn't really like him like that. Like, I liked him at first. When we first started talking, like, he was cool. But as we start talking more and more, it's like, I seen that he was like a, you feel me, like, not my type type shit. You feel me? And honestly, he... <laughs> 
honestly, I ain't no nigga my type now. And that's crazy as fuck. So we start talking. It was like cool. You feel me? I met his whole family, like his sister, his nephew, his grandparents, his dad, like all of that. Like we was in there. I would go over to his house. He came up to my house like once. But I went over to his house like hella times. Um, I went out to eat with it. I went out to eat with his family. Like his nephew. I love his little nephew. Like, yeah. He's a cool ass person. I'm not going to cat, but. Mm, mm, you know? So, um. It was cool. You feel we had this little relationship, but I would do him so dirty. Like, sometimes, well, I used to, not no more. But I would go back and, like, reread our, like, um, I don't have our, our text messages, but, like, our Instagram messages. And I would just be so rude to him. Like, if I'm, if I'm mean to you to that extent, like, I can't even, like, explain to what extent. But if I'm rude to you to that extent, bro, I don't like you. Like, I really just don't. Like, just cut me off. Like, I'm trying to allow you to cut me off because I know how much you like me. So, I'm being mean to you on purpose. Like, I'm a mean person. I'm not going to cap. Like, I'm a little mean. Just a little mean. Just because, you know. But, I'm not going to say I'm mean. My friends say I'm mean. I'm not. I don't think I'm mean. Okay. Anyways, we getting off. We getting off. Yeah. But, it's just like, I would tell him, like, stuff like I'll probably insert like some of our messages with like a pie so because we had a cooler relationship like it was cool or whatever I met his family like we would go out um we would meet up after school like we didn't go to the same school but we would meet up after school like before rehearsal and we like smoke he would smoke me out all the time like thank you he always buy me food he knew that that was the one thing about me like Whenever I was mad at him, he had just buy me some food. Like, boy, thank you. <laughs> the fuck? I appreciate you. I'm still mad at you, but thank you. I appreciate you. I remember one time he came all the way to my house. Oh, this was after the fact. Hold on. We not even there yet. More of the story, like, he was a cool little dude or whatever. Like, he cooked for me. That shit was busting. I don't even remember what it was, but it was busting. Like, that shit was so good. It was some Mexican shit. I don't know what it was. I forgot. That shit was so good. Yeah, he came over to my house one time. And my whole family is intimate. That's why I never bring nobody to my house. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, I barely want to be there. Like, the fuck do I look like bringing people? Be like, okay, now I come to your house. No, the fuck you cannot come to my house. I don't even want to be at my house. Like, be fuck for real. The hell? He came to my house to drop something off to me. Ended up staying the whole fucking day. Nigga, leave. What are you doing here? And if you know, you know, like, I stay in the, in the fucking house with hella motherfuckers. Like, in a big-ass family. We gotta be on the couch in the fucking living room. Everybody passing back and forth. Like, the fuck y'all know y'all do not be just in and fucking out of the fucking shit all fucking day that fucking much. So, we was together for not that long, actually. I think we started messing with each other in February of 2020. And then, I think he cheated on me, like, May or February, March, April, May, yeah. I think he cheated on me, like, May. So, basically, let me tell you what happened. So, what had happened was, one day I was at his house, and, you know, <clears throat> he fell asleep um, after eating something that we're not going to get into. And, <laughs> um, we was watching a movie on his phone. And he fell asleep. So I'm like, oh, I took this little account to be like, mm. I check phones and I don't give a fuck. The fuck, check my phone if you want to. You might get your feelings hurt, but I don't give a fuck. Because I know if I check your phone, I'm going to get my feelings hurt. Okay. But if we really, if we really like this, if we go together and you check my phone, your feelings are not going to be hurt. Just make sure you check the dates. Because if you don't check the dates the right way, you're going to get your feelings hurt because you're going to think something that's not what it is because you have to look at the dates and be you feel me but anyways so we was watching a movie on his phone he fell asleep so i'm like oh okay well i mean you know what better time than you know because it's always the ones that you think it's good it's always the ones that want you so so bad that be the ones that dog you out like it be the ones that wanted you so bad that 
be the ones to dog you the fuck out. The ones that you barely even want, but you hanging on to because you think they good. That's the only reason why I was hanging on to this motherfucker because I thought he was good. I said, now nah, he a good one. Like, I'm going to just thug this shit out, even though, like, I don't really, like, you feel me? I'm like, I don't really, I'm not really feeling him like that, but you feel me? I feel like he a good one. So it's like, let me just dog, like, let me just, not dog him up. Let me just, you feel me, stay down. You feel me? Let me just, you feel me? Maybe I'll start to, you feel me, get into it here and there, you know? Because it wasn't bad. It was just like, you just not really my cup of tea, but you're not not my cup of tea type shit. You feel me? So yeah, so we was laying down watching a movie, whatever, whatever, whatever. He went to sleep. Um, so I'm like, oh, I mean, the phone I'm locked. It's, you know, right there in my face. And check me, check me, check me. So yeah, I checked it. And you tell me, what did I do? I think I went to, what was it? I don't even remember. I think I had went to, um like i think i went to like instagram or something but i feel like i ended up in the messages and so i think he was texting this one girl and it wasn't nothing like too too bad but he was basically like checking up on her like i guess he had just got out of a relationship or something like her her dude had just broke up and he like, oh, is you okay? This is that and the third. And I'm just like, why the fuck do you care? But I'm like, it's not too bad. So you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do too much. I'm not gonna do too much. So you feel me? And I think, I think it ended up going to the messages from there. But it was like the same type of time. Like it wasn't nothing too much. But in my head, I'm like, why the fuck do you care if it's girls, okay? like you're being mad friendly but at the same time i'm like maybe it's the broken part of me that's like red flag red flag red flag but <clears throat> i memorized that name mm -hmm. i memorized that name i had that girl name mm -hmm, birthed into my brain and then i mind you i don't know what month this is if i figure out the month or whatever i'll insert it on the screen but um yeah so then, I guess a little while after, I'm not sure, I don't remember the timeline exactly, but um, I remember being at home one day, and I remember like, I feel like he didn't text me like the night before too much, or he was being distant or something. So I'm like, hmm, like, okay, that's weird. And I just remember, I just remember getting a text message from him that was like, Fuck, what did the text message say? I need to find it. It was something around the lines of, fuck, I wonder if I have it. I hope I do. I really hope I do. If if I don't have the messages, I probably got a screenshot. Because I know I sent that shit to my best friend. I know I sent that shit to my best friend. So hopefully I can find it somewhere. But it was probably something around the lines of like, um, like call me when you get a chance or something like that. It was like, call me when you get a chance or I need to talk to you or like, um, I messed up bad, like something like that. He was like, oh, I messed up real bad. Some shit like that. Cause I remember him saying some shit like that. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck did this nigga do? Like, you feel me? So I caught him and like, I remember him being on the phone and I remember him just crying. I'm just like, the fuck? Like, what the fuck is going on? And he's just crying like, oh, like you feel me? This is that and the third happened. So he's basically telling me like, oh, like last night or whatever, the, whatever fuck night it was. He was like, oh, I was basically out. And I was with these people. I forgot who the fuck he was with. He wasn't with a lot of people. I think he was, like, with him and, like, two other people, I think it was. And he was basically like, oh, yeah, I was drunk. And I was high or some shit like that. He said some dumb ass shit. He said some dumb. When I tell you he said some dumb ass shit, bruh. If I could find these messages, I'm going to insert them. Because, bro, when I tell you, he said some dumb ass shit. He said, oh, I was high or I was drunk or some shit like that. And I didn't mean for it to happen. And this is then the third. And I'm just sitting here like, this nigga got me fucked up. When I tell you, he had me fucked the fuck. Because it's not even the fact that you cheated on me. It's the fact that, for one, you tell me that you cheated on me. I already know who the fuck the girl is. Because, nigga, first of all, I'm not fucking dumb. I'm not stupid. 
too. I didn't even like you like that. I'm thinking, oh, he a good one. Let me just hold on to him because you feel me. It's probably God trying to put somebody in my life, and I'm probably being stubborn and da da da, da being picky, and probably just the person da da da. My young ass thinking the fuck that I found the one at 17 years old. Girl, get the fuck out of here. Anyways, you feel me? But like, yeah. Uh uh. Uh uh. And you're like, I'm so sorry. This is why I'm crying on the phone. This is And I'm just like, I don't even remember what happened. I hung up on him. And I immediately called my best friend. And I'm like, best friend. And she like, ooh. So we start going ham on the phone with each other. Like, have a little shit. Ooh. I'm going to insert the fucking video. I'm going to insert the video my best friend sent to me at the time. She was like of her. Um, this is not the video she sent to me at the time. But this is a video that she sent to me at some point. I have it posted on my spam account on Instagram. I don't use that account no more. But I'm pretty sure if I scroll, I can find that video. So I'm going to fucking insert that video to show y'all exactly what she said because she like that was fresher in her brain at that time when she made that video because that was like years ago so yeah let me explain that last post for you so basically this bitch called me she's talking about some bitch this nigga cheated on me talking about some he fucked this bitch because he high mind you it's some ugly fat excuse me i'm not being racist but this is what she is ugly old mexican bitch and i was like usually my mexicans be hella cute or whatever but this bitch hella ugly like you know how like when you just be pushing it and trying to motherfucking hard that was her makeup was on ugh, and then ass was on huck like <laughs> so then i'm pissed because this nigga talking about some i fucked her because i was high bitch when you're a high you don't accidentally fuck nobody you don't do shit on accident you should be conscious about everything you fucking do. That's what you do when you're drunk, bitch. You was hot. Bitch, ain't nobody stupid in this bitch. And if that was my nigga, bitch, he wouldn't have lungs to smoke. Because what the fuck? <laughs> but basically, that's basically what happened. And then, so after that, the after after that, like, we was texting back and forth. I was like, who's the girl? What's her name? Who's the girl? What's her name? Because I'm trying to make sure that I'm not crazy. Because I'm already knowing who the fuck the girl is. Like, I'm already knowing that it's that girl. Like, <laughs> Like, be fucking for real. I'm already knowing that it was her. So, um, did he ever tell me the girl's name? Hmm. I don't remember if he ever told me the girl's name. I don't remember. But I remember I had peeped some shit on Instagram. Like, they had stopped, um, they had stopped following each other or something like that. Like, some weird shit, you know? So, I know the fuck, I knew it was her. I had got like some type of confirmation that it was her. I don't remember what the fuck it was. So the confirmation was in the messages that he sent me. He said that the girl was a chubby Mexican with red hair. And that's the exact um, person who was in the Instagram profile that I had saw that he was texting. But I'm gonna try to figure out with the screenshots and stuff because I know I had some screenshots of that. I know I had some screenshots of the conversations and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to go find them. But yeah, so that's basically pretty much what happened. Like, and then after that, he like probably like a couple weeks later. This is when all the George Floyd stuff was going on, all the looting rights and stuff like that. Cause I remember I was gonna go downtown and go, <laughs> you feel me? Fuck some shit up with my friends, <laughs> right after. So he um he had hit me up. He was like, oh, can we meet up? Can we talk? That a lot. It was like a couple weeks after we both had time to like chill off the situation. My throat starting to hurt. I'm sick, y'all. Talking too much. Um, and I'm like, yeah. So whatever. He met me by like bar um by the bart station because the fuck he wasn't coming to my house mm -mm. the fuck <laughs> so he met me by the bart station and he was basically saying stuff and we was talking and i was getting mad all over again like i was getting mad all over again and he was basically trying to get back with me like nigga who the fuck do you think you are but at the same time he was like being very respectful of me like he's a respectful person he was being very respectful of me and stuff like that and like he bought me some chicken <laughs> That nigga stayed buying me food. He bought me some chicken from a fucking uh, liquor store. Y'all know how to, the ones that be making the shit, yeah. But, um, yeah, and then... Did we go down there together? We may have went down there together. Like, I know me and my friend did. No, I don't think we did, but I told him where I was going. Did we? I don't know. I told him where I was going, so, yeah. So he called me when I was down there to check on me, like, hey, be safe. The fuck they tear gassing people, this, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Mind you, I got tear gassing hella little shit. That's a whole different story time, low key. But, yeah, so that's pretty much what happened. 
Um, so that's the first time I ever got cheated on, like, for real, for real, for real. Um, honestly, it, like, hurt because, you know, it's like, fuck, like, damn. I'm a bad bitch. Too. I look better than her. But, and niggas gonna be hoes. And if he a dog, I'm a dog too, bitch. So, yeah, that's pretty much what that was. I hope y'all enjoyed this video because y'all been asking me for a story time for the longest. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Um, I got fucking fruit flies in here. Make sure y'all like, comment, <laughs> subscribe. Make sure y'all follow me on all social medias. FNS Queen, that's F-I-N-E-S-S-E dot -S -S -E -E Q-U-3-3-N underscore on Instagram and without the underscore on TikTok. And make sure y'all follow me on Facebook. I don't, like, I don't even use Facebook to know how to shout myself out. I'm going to put it in the description down below. But, yeah. Bye, y'all.